School is back in session and for high school seniors applying for college and scholarships will be starting very soon. Yeah, to get accepted, you need to start preparing really years in advance. New at 11, New 6's Lewis Bolden explains the timeline for success. It brings joy to my heart because I'm helping my community become better and become stronger. Henry Cachula Jr. has one mission, helping kids get into college. It's why he started 4.0 GPA. I saw that a lot of students struggle with preparing for college and not having parents that were aware of the process. He's always like, pushing me. He really just gave me hope and I'm really just pushing for it. I believe that anything is possible. Henry recommends students start college prep in middle school with a PSAT practice book. If you have a child that's in the sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade level, make sure they're doing five questions a day. Also in middle school, pay attention to class selection. If you take pre-AP math in middle school, you do well, you actually have the chance of receiving high school credit. And then once you get to high school, you already have high school credits and that allows you to participate in dual college programs. Another key to college success, keep track of your grade point average. It's real important for you to understand how the GPA skill works. Request your GPA from your high school counselor. Request an unofficial transcript so you can know where your child stands. The GPA along with test scores are the top two factors for college admission. When you're taking your SAT, your SAT or ACT exam, there is no penalty for guessing. So if you are running out of time, bubble in every answer on your Scantron. I took my ACT early. So I, so that was a good thing. So I have another opportunity to keep on taking it. And don't think of LinkedIn as a place just for business professionals. More students are signing up and it's giving them the chance to connect with professors, mentors and even potential employers. Things to add to your LinkedIn profile, how you're helping out in the community. So start going to the food bank, volunteer four hours a month so you can start building up your resume. Apply early for scholarship opportunities. Seniors try to get applications in by October. Go to college fairs. Many schools will provide application fee waivers for students they meet. Make plenty of campus visits and don't be shy when you do. It's very good that you talk to the students, ask them, why did you come here? So they can explain to you what they enjoy about that university. We've got a complete college prep tools checklist on our website, clickorlando.com. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6. That is a lot. The pressure is I'm on, overwhelmed. right? There are some things that can actually hurt a student's chances of getting into college. We've got the biggest list of don'ts for parents on our website, clickorlando.com. Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells could have wrote a book on that. You've been through mm -hmm. that a few times, huh? Twice already and one's on the way. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>